Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Tiny Rogues. To Timmy Rogues. Can we get a mod for this? Makes Tim every single character. I am... I don't know who we have been and who we haven't been, so maybe we just do a rando. It shows one of the new characters. Dancer. Never even seen this character in my life. The dancer moves to the rhythm of the battle, their blades, an extension of their rhythmic steps, striking with swift elegance. On the tally of five primary attacks, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed lucky hit. So it looks like we have a lucky hit build going on, and then possibly the sound damage. Maybe, if it's if it's rhythmic, I don't know. Start with bombs, money, or keys. Um... Start with the bombs. I think bombs are incredibly useful. I don't know, three keys though. I feel like when you get bombs, you get like two at a time. It should be at least six bombs. It's five. So maybe keys. Don't worry about getting keys ever again. Alright, if you really wanted to... Oh, hey, look, they, they reset all the points. Good thing I checked. That we would just go in without anything. We really should be spending more time in this skill tree. But you really need to know what you're doing. And it could be organized a little bit more. You know, I would like some visual representation. Like if all of this was dealing with shops, you could have like a shop symbol or the word shop next to it. So that when I'm looking at this, I can decipher it somehow quickly instead of spending 20 minutes every episode to min-max for every single character. Right? There maybe even could be like a, a saved... Uh, skill tree that you have per character, like you fill it out for one character and you say save. Apply to this character. I don't know, there's just a lot going on. Healing rewards are 50% more common while at the brink of death. Sure. You revived once per death, well, from death once per run, yes. Just step out. Plus one luck on floor one and two. Easy mode. Enemies in floor one have 30% less health. And armor, enemies floor 2, enemies floor 2. I'm not, I'm not so worried about it being easier in the first couple floors. That's that's where it's already easy. Start with one soul heart. Gold prices in the shops are reduced, or shops have a 35% chance to offer an additional item. <clears throat> I feel like gold price is being reduced. I've had shops selling things for really, really low. Let's see here. Soul prices increase. But gold prices decrease. I'm gonna go with soul prices decrease because it's really punishing to buy anything for souls. That's kind of what I I should do here is try to focus on making me get more souls and things that cost souls are cheaper. Items priced in gold have 25% chance to instead cost souls and vice versa. Additionally, when this occurs, the price is reduced. Yeah, maybe. All blacksmiths charge five souls instead of gold. No. Upgrading weapons at a blacksmith cost 10, 15, 20 instead of 20, 20, 20. Yes. What happened? Sondies, thank you so much for the membership. Have fun. Flex those. Tim emotes on the YouTube side. Equipment and weapon chests have a 20% chance to contain an additional item. That sounds nice. Default blacksmith can upgrade to level 4. Can remove negative enchantments for free. Sells repair powder. I'm gonna go with level 4. I got more soul things here. Dice rewards always grant three additional red dice, two additional ethereal dice, or one additional golden dice. Golden dice is refreshing shops and boss payouts. It's nice, but I feel like I use the red dice a lot more. Minigames are easier. Event rooms with minigames are twice as common. Sure. Weapons gain plus 25% chance to spawn with plus one upgrade level or 25% chance to be pre-enchanted. I'm assuming enchanted means positive enchantments. Let's go... Pre-enchanted. Equipment items that grant stamina are 25% more common. Equipment items that grant hearts are 25% more common. No. Weapons of the same type that you started with are 50% more common. Sure. The same weapon class that you started with are 25% more. So it'd be like Shackram. Opening any treasure chest permanently grants plus 2.5% magic find up to 25. Sure. Legendary weapons always come pre-enchanted with a legendary enchantment. Epic weapons and equipment are 25% more common. Sure, 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 sure. Boss rewards that guarantee a weapon or equipment type now guarantee that type for at least two items instead of just one. 
temperature. You encounter 50% less packs of enchanted enemies, but they have 25% more health and armor. 50% more enchanted enemies, but 25% less health and armor. Boss rewards a guaranteed item of a certain rarity. Now guarantee that or a higher rarity in all items offered. Okay, that sounds nice. Drink some water, please. I'm out of water. There's water and energy drink, though. I could just drink my humidifier. Gain plus one suppression against floors one, two, and three bosses. Gain plus one suppression for against the floor ten boss. Let's go down here. What's this? Floor three always contains an additional armory that offers two weapon choices. Like, what, what, what should we go for here? Booze prices are reduced. Healing from nurse costs five instead of ten. Staying overnight at the tavern costs five. Pawn shops, taverns, or blacksmiths. Which one's better? Hmm. Drinking tavern. And then maybe re-rolling the tavern is cheaper. Tavern gains 15% chance to have an entrance to the black market. Black market always contains the smuggler selling companions and he gives you 50% discount. Always contains the wizard selling charms or Kutao selling fish items. So a charm. Cleric is now a permanent resident of the tavern. Santa is now a permanent resident. A tax collector. What does the tax collector do? I don't know. We got one more point to spend. We haven't even seen any of this stuff up here. It's punishing to only get 30 to spend. Start with plus one additional health flask. Sure. Alright. Just gonna go. I don't want to really spend any more time than that doing that. What do we have is our... Um, what's the keys, right? Go get more laud. <laughs> Mythic rhythm? What's that? 50% increased stamina recovery speed. Are we a uh, dex based? Yeah, we're dex based. As is the Shackrams. Rhythm anklets. 10% increased movement speed. And we have the rhythm bracelets. So on dash gain rhythm. Rhythm is a buff that buff that reduces the tally requirement by two and lasts eight seconds. So it's gonna be on the tally of not five, but three attacks, we get a lucky hit. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And we have a lot of keys, so. Armored enemies first floor, what is this? That's a random blessing. Mobility blessing, shrine that 25% increased stamina recovery speed. Here, just, just use it. Why do I only have six items in my inventory over here, but it's now up to eight when I open this? Huh. So it's like up to six hotkeys, but then you have eight inventory slots now? Alright. Is your heater fixed yet? My furnace? No. Furnace is not fixed. Dex, please. Yes. Yeah, I need to study the uh, the skill tree. I need to not not do that again on stream slash video. Don't have any money. An easy choice. Cursed candy. Hey kid, want some candy? Kinda, I kind of do still want it, but I don't like curse. It's kind of the opposite of luck. Event always. Take a sip. Absolutely. I'm blessed by the fairy spring. What did it do? On entering a floor, if you don't have a soul heart already, gain one. Oh, cool. I do have one though, unfortunately.
What game's this now? I suppose I could update it on the YouTube side. This is Tiny Rogues? Phenomenal game. Very retro style. Helmet or one offhand? We don't have anything in the offhand and we also don't have a helmet. Let's go helmet. Lost in my woods, eh? I'll show you no mercy. He's a quick jumper. I'll give him that. Just vomits at me. Full meat shanks. <coughs> it's a dex build. <coughs> we want more stam. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Chat, do you want me to go uh, to heaven, to hell, or to the cursed Shadowlands? Vigilante mask. Evil deeds increase your alignment instead of decreasing it. Hmm. Yes, all of them. I can't do all of them. Grants 30% increased body damage. That's body armor. What's body damage? First two explicitly stated body damage triggers. And we have 10% increased damage per curse on you. Maybe we do want to go curse. Shadowlands is... Uh, what do we need to do to get there? Chaos? I think it might just be chaos. Shadowlands, obviously. Two votes for shadow. We already have accessory, though. We have a good accessory. That kind of goes with us, so... Ugh, well... You know... I guess I'll take the only one that I can take. Cowabunga, dude. You can do anything your heart wants. Can I fly? My heart wants to fly. Do, 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 do. Well, 25 to 30 gold, that's a lot. I do want a new weapon, but that's a lot of money. Having uh, some luck, it changed that. It made that noise and then had the little four leaf clover on it. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll go with the warrior stash. Since I got a bunch of cash. Favorite chose mash. That's why I grew this mustache. Storm hammer. That is technically C scaling, and this is D scaling on decks, but it's mostly strength, which is only at one right now. Probably pretty cool though. On taking damage, triggers a chain lightning and grants tailwind. Tailwind is a buff that grants 5% increased attack movement speed. <laughs> I don't think hammers are the best, but what do you got here? Plus one max heart sits for souls, though. 30 souls. I don't even know why you would offer something for 30 souls on the second floor. It's, that's a bag of nut. 10 gold, though, for plus one strength, minus one intelligence. Yeah, probably with what we have going on here. 13 gold for three red dice. Dispels one stack of curse. Um, we did talk about not going curse, which is miscellaneous. Curse zero right now. Three to four random dice? Yes. That was a lot of dice. Beef? Two point five percent magic find. Yeah, what was it like every time I buy something? I 
After not attacking for one second, stock up one guaranteed crit hit with primary attacks. I usually just sit there and hold the fire button down, which gets you in trouble too when you're on a magic build because you get like the magic overload or whatever it is. On lucky hit, increment all your active tally counters by one. We have lucky hit every three hits, right? On the tally of the fifth primary attack, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed critical hit. This one seems cool because it's like five for lucky, five for crit. But I think I like like clockwork more. When you loot the chest, it's up to 25%. Was it chest? I, I didn't remember which one that was. You should be able to access the... The skill tree too, or at least see the skill tree as you've spent money on it. As you spent stuff on it. So I could double check and be like, wait a minute. The hell did I look at? Because there was 30 things I had to place. Twilight branch. Random <laughs> enchantment for my weapon. Should just rip it. Oh, my, my weapon's happy now. Plus 10% lucky hit chance. That's perfect. That's one soul heart. Just take it. And a box with stuff in it. Two bombs and a green blossom. Just use it. And some blood that I can't... My, my things are, are full, so... Reward choices are all set items or a pair of gloves. Let's go gloves. I don't have a set that I don't... That I'm missing something from. Racketeer. 25 months. Welcome back. Monkey noises. Tell the difference in damage, they're pretty similar. Both these weapons are. A lot of lucky just hits in there, holy moly. Blob of blood. Yummy. Let me just scoop that up into this fire. Yep. Blob of blood, yummy. Steve, you were a little quiet there. That's one sexy pirate. How do curses affect you? It's like luck, where there's a chance that uh, you get a lucky hit. There's a chance you get a cursed hit. There's a chance that curse will... Uh, or, no, is it actually just a, it rerolls twice for a crit or something? I don't, I'm trying to remember. Let me look it up. Does it say... Oh, gosh, I wish I could just hover over this and have it tell me what a curse hit is. And what a lucky hit is. It's something like that. Lucky hits like re-roll twice for damage and take the higher or something, and curse is the opposite. Like rolling a disadvantage. Can change your uh, payouts too. They can be cursed and be less. Plus one deck scaling. That just sounds amazing. On the tally of five primary bow or crossbow attacks, repeat the bow or crossbow. I do like the tally thing. It kind of seems like we have a tally build here. And 20% increased melee damage and plus one suppression for dragon scale. Probably ninja. Probably. So now it's B scaling on decks instead of C. Oh, I can turn off the Nightbot timer, huh? This section is no longer sponsored. We have 20 souls! So I'm gonna wait for... I'll say 30, but... We really want to get... Uh, is it is it Law that we need, or is it Chaos? I think it's Law that we need, actually, to get into the Shadowlands. Gosh, it's all so confusing, and there's just so much information to remember. The way that I deal with that is by not remembering them. Pretty neat mechanic. Plus strength, plus dex. That sounds amazing. It is law that I need. Yeah, you can't like get chaos yet, or you can't do anything with chaos yet. 
was gonna say, because, like, you can do stuff like buy things in the law shop. That There's no chaos shop. But it's gotta be for law to get into the Shadowlands, which doesn't really make sense canonically, but... New weapon, what do you got? Chilling Acid Cloud Scroll. Horrible. Double Axe. It's twice. Yeah, it's super boring. Probably not gonna use it. Oh, well. There's no way I was gonna see that fucking coming. Alright, back to the hammer. Ranger stash? Nah. Oh, some candy. Potion or tavern. Uh, I'm pretty broke right now. What else you got? Dex. Boy, howdy. Love me some pear. A nice ripe pear. It's probably only overshadowed by a nice ripe peach. Arcades are the best. What'd I get? Soul heart there. Key. A key for one penny, right? Another soul heart. Another key. Wow. Lots of keys. Lots of soul hearts. What is this? Crystal flail. Three crystals that deal 74 to 154 thrusting damage. I guess we could try it. Flails are kind of trash, but it's, that's kind of interesting. We've had that one before. We had a crystal set. And it's broken. I'm out of money. Let's do the event. Oh, this is a trap, isn't it? Maybe the one that you choose closes on you and you get the other two? I don't know. So I jump into the man-eater? Venus man-trap? Try to snatch the item. Oh. I got it. Beef! 100% increased stats from strength, but no stats from dex. No. On dash, mark the nearest enemy with Ascetic's mark. Guarantees five crushing hits. All primary attacks grant a stack of rage. Melee attacks grant an additional stack. 4% increased attack speed per stack. Probably gonna go with rage on this one, but... I can't believe I don't have any rerolls. It did say more mini games and make the mini games easier. Nice. Cool. I still need no. I was gonna say I still need gloves, but the ninja gloves just looks like the no glove symbol. Look at how similar that is. Huh. Um, let's do this one. A foolish human lost in the swamp. What a tasty surprise. Ooh. The good thing about flails now is that they kind of auto-aim. They adjust depending on, uh... How far away the enemy is. They're smart. Let's see if this is any better, though. Honestly, the crystal flail wasn't bad. Probably better crowd control if I was surrounded, too, but... Might not be able to hit the person that you want to hit, though. Harder to aim. 
Handcuffs? Disable your offhand, but your weapon is considered a two-handed weapon. <coughs> Thunder grip gauntlets. Five to two hundred lightning damage to melee attacks. And it's a set item. Would I give up plus deck scaling? Aegis. Legendary offhand. <coughs> plus block, plus armor. Self repairs armor on completing an encounter room. Okay. That seems really good. That seems really good. Alright. Good shop, evil shop. I was kind of hoping for a law shop. I was kind of hoping for JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. Increase dash length. Goat horn. Hmm. We do have uh, kind of a Dexy Dashy build. 5% increased movement speed. Or 10% increased range damage. I'm gonna go with movement speed. Chat, do we want the goats? What's up, clock? 92 months. Phenomenal. Gino also is 92 monther. Scone, what are you at? We were just talking about once you guys get to 100, you have to let me know. There needs to be some sort of celebration. Goat for it. It's goat. 98, 97. Nolsey! <laughs> it's at five. No, 20 gifted memberships on the YouTube side of things. Nolsey, check out the new Tim emotes. Also, anybody that just got gifted a sub from Nolsey, check those out. Absolutely phenomenal. What are we gonna wear? What do we got? What do we got? <coughs> the Isaac hat? Huh? I want that. It's a classic. <coughs> oh, can't stop coughing. Chat wants me to take goat horn. You got a goat now. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. We love him. I like there's a give up option. Plus one mana. We don't have a mana weapon. We're probably not going to have a mana weapon. But two bombs, like whatever. It's, this could be good if we do get one. Get him, goaty. What's the name of our goat chat? Tim Goeth The Goatest of all time Grandmaster Shuriken it's S plus. It's S plus uh, dex rating. But hey, sniper rifle. Hits from this weapon gain 100% crit chance while you're standing still. I'm, I'm just gonna load these up already. Yeah, that and then this. There we go. That looks super cool. And then this is just maybe funny. Multiple potions, so we gotta have some beef. Jeff? Pronounce Jeff? We already have a Jeff, though. Harold the Goat, Nathaniel. Alright, okay, we're just gonna go with the shurikens. Sitting here, like, trying to, like, pop individual enemies with this thing super slow, and then I just switch to this and annihilate everybody. Ba -da, 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 ba da 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 I don't even need any of this. I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this. I feel like there should be a mechanic that allows you to um, apply any enchantment of a weapon to another weapon that you have, and you could stack up as many enchantments as you want that way. That'd be amazing. 
up YouTube and Twitch. What's up, Nosey? Gotta get my pairs on. We also have like the on the tally of the blah 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 attack. The faster our fire rate, the more we're gonna be able to proc those things. Snow boots, your percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to your stamina recovery speed at the same value. That's good, but I really like the rhythm, the, the anklets, the things that we got. I think they're the best for us. Magical boomerang. Elven cloak. Guaranteed shrine reward appear on the first choice of doors each floor. Plus one evade. I'm not super up on the shrines, I guess. S. Brutal Disintegrator. Nolsey with 35. Uh, just had Category 3 Cyclone roll through my mom here in Australia. But while my car blows away, we chill with my favorite streamer. Holy crap, Nolsey. That sounds super intense. I hope you stay safe. Just gonna say, raise your hand if you don't know who Trogdor is. You don't? The Bonanator. Who's Trogdor? The Cinegrinder? It might be good. It might be good. 10% super effective damage multiplier. Which means... Most enemies have a damage type weakness. Super effective hits deal 25% more damage. Disintegration is a stackable energy damage over time ailment that deals 25% of energy inflection damage as energy damage two times per second. That's just so much reading. I don't know. Just buy it. Hope for the best. That's what I say. Um, we don't need the armor thing. We need the treasure rock. Rage is causing me to shoot faster and faster as I hit them more and more. It didn't seem like that was that strong, but all of a sudden everyone just died. So I'm, uh, plus one suppression instead of 50% increased stamina recovery speed. I like the stamina recovery speed, I think. Oh, the damage over time is just killer with that. You see that damage over time? That's serious. You can apply disintegration and then switch weapons. Lucky hits are always super effective and grant cheap shot. Cheap shot's a buff that grants 100% increased trigger damage and lasts 4 seconds. I don't think we have anything trigger damage. 150% crit hit multiplier close range. Blessed hammer. Non-triggered lucky hits trigger a blessed hammer that deals a ton of damage and returns to you. Um, we have a lot of lucky hits, so blessed hammer would be good. Super effective would be good. Cheap shot, we could maybe get something that's got trigger on it. We could go that way. Chat, what do you think? Cheap shot or blessed hammer? Zombine, what's up? Cheap shot, cheap shot, hammer. How many games of this have you played? Um, a hundred. Three votes, cheap shot. Let's go. So we're looking for anything that has like trigger specific tag to it, which we don't have anything yet. Set items. We'll probably get wyvern armor. I don't. I don't want that. Let's go all at least rare. Rare rarity. How rare? Rare. Rare rarity. A rare rarity. Rare rarity. I think honestly. Okay, well, I was going to say, honestly, I think the Disintegrator is doing more damage, but... It's hard to say, really. 
shack rams probably doing more damage if I can get all the shack rams to hit him. But if I can keep up the uh, disintegrating, it seems like this thing is just shredding. Time for my rare rarity. More gloves. 25% increased effect of buff status effects. Um, it adds plus three to unarmed intelligence scaling. Slightly encumbered. Because I don't have enough carry capacity, okay. 25% increased attack speed with ranged weapons while standing still. Maybe that partnered with the sniper rifle could have been okay, but 25% still not that good for that. Unkill trigger your combat start effects. We don't have any of those. Next. These look pretty. Nano suit. <clears throat> your flask repairs a point of armor if used while health is full. Paladin shield. Block armor. We have block armor already and self repairing, so sorry. What's this? Flame shield. Periodically inflict maximum stacks of scorched in your body enemies. These are all bad. These are all just trash. These are all a load of turd. I don't... Is it going to take out my equipment load if I don't equip it? Is it? Does it? No. Still 80 out of 80 equipment load. I'll, I'll take it. I'll sell it, I guess. It warned me like it was going to make me over-encumbered, even though it wasn't going to immediately equip it when I bought it, so I just thought, like, maybe it was a thing with the stuff and the plays and the guy. Once was a ship in the place with the guy, and name of the ship was Ability Wind blew up or about it down. Plus one stat and minus one stat for a room reward seems a little silly. I really feel like it should be plus two minus one. There should be a net benefit of doing these. Contains rare weapons. Sure. Pulse pistols. A dex. What's the fire rate on that? 4.92. That's not bad. S tier arcane ghost javelin. It's uh, it's magical. <clears throat> and we have steady hellsingers. This weapon has 100% ruthless hit chance against fiends and undead. Hmm. On dash, recover a point of mana. These are also mana draining. The pulse pistols. Interesting. Might go ahead and try them out. Petrified whores? No, three decks. Loving the attack rate, hating the damage. I think, honestly. Disintegrator Ray takes the cake here. I think I'm getting tiny rogues. Is it worth it? How is the replayability? It's good. It's it's a fun game. I definitely come back to it. I still think that the update made it too complicated, but that's just me. Pike! Just got far range for a melee. Other than that, it's kind of meh. Let's 
go with this. We're kind of short on bombs, though. What if we could get something else? <coughs> Random trait tomes. We could replace one of our traits with something else. But I kind of like what we got going on. I'm not, not going to lie. Maybe we'll go with the uh, crit hit chance. Get candy. Event. Rub the magical lamp. Master, I shall fulfill one wish. What do you wish for? Wealth or might? Might. It's now a brutal disintegrator. It already was. It's plus four, so it leveled it up all the way like a blacksmith would. That seems good. Plus intelligence minus dex. No. Grand potion? I don't even want that either. Reward at the cost of sacrificing one heart. Have we gotten the update where it takes your red health instead of your other health in front? I'll try it. I don't know if we've gotten that update yet. I remember him announcing that, I think, on Twitter. That that update was coming. It was the last one to come out. Perfect. Yes, it did work. Don't know what happened there. We got a bunch of stuff. I should have read it. I should have read what it said it was going to do, but I didn't. After not attacking for 2.5 seconds, mark that no. On the tally of five primary attacks, your next primary deals guaranteed crit hit. Let's just go with that. Totally solid. I think we just got some stats. Yeah, I don't see anything else. <laughs> Who did a thing? Jangabucka is dropping off prime sub. Cheers. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Have an awesome day. I don't want any of these things. I don't want set items. It's gonna give me trash. I don't want your accessories. It's kind of an awkward run where we're pretty full up on stuff and I have to decide if I want to cut my rhythm synergy right now and go for something else or... or not. Keep going with the equipment that I have and hope that it uh, scales with me. Okay. The Disintegrator Ray is doing quite alright at the moment. I remember there was a discussion about this game. Just gaming in general is another dev that like chimed in about how there has to be this balance of power in the game where in the beginning you want to feel weak but then you go stronger and you notice the, the gains but then after a while that same equipment that whatever that made you strong is going to make you weak and then you have to get strong again by trading out your stuff or changing up your your play style and how it's got to be you know constantly up and down i don't necessarily agree with that they were saying that if you have a run that's too strong that the rest of the run is boring i mean I, we've had broken isaac runs that are still fun even if you break them but maybe that's different 20% lucky hit chance. Well, son of a... What was Tim's thing? A bucket of... Silly Busters. Each point of strength, blah, blah, blah. Plus one luck. These are all good. But I have an accessory. I have gloves. Plus deck scaling or lucky hit chance. Lucky hit chance, once again. Uh, rolls two times for critical hits. <clears throat> Difficulty seesaws. That's a new one. Only if all games are OP, then it gets boring. All runs, yeah. I... Do we want the... Do we want the rabbit paws over the ninja gloves? Chat, what do you think? I could do more top-end damage and then get rid of our rhythm thing, but that seems silly. An accessory is also our rhythm. Pause. Plus one dex, scale, or lucky hit chance. Lucky hit is OP. Alright. There's our little rabbit paws. Soup's cutes. Looks like maybe we're not going to be going for uh, the law shop. Did you just. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. 
I thought that said evil. I can read. Plus three intelligence. Stam surge. 25% increased damage dealt to undead. Well, we probably just want to buy all of them to be lawful. Probably get rid of the zombie charm if I remember. So now we should be able to make it to the Shadowlands. If we look, it says plus three lawful. Lawfully wedded lawful. Let's go with the bombs. Vinny says ninja gloves. Sorry, Vinny. You got outranked. I'm assuming that this costing one heart to open the chest also takes it from my red health. Correcto. Intelligence, growth, and dex growth. So the next time we get, the next three times we get intelligence or dex, we'll get plus two instead of plus one. And speak of the devil. I suppose I could drink my flasks to heal. That had a sick as hell, Hots. Have a great stream. Thanks, Young. What you're saying is everything should have the same difficulty as Spelunky Kappa. Still streaming. What time is it in Minnesota? It's 10 p.m. Uh, don't really want the curse, but I don't really want potions. I had plenty of keys. Got a lot of money. I'm mine, I'm a money, I'm a money, I'm a mind. 25% increased chance to trigger on attack effects. Hatching egg. Yeah. Cheese! Permanently increases maximum tipsiness. Once again, tipsy is what? Max tipsiness is in like I can drink more. Not that I'm drunk. Plus one. I could drink more. That's slightly misleading. Intelligence. Crit hit chance. That's good when we're talking about lucky hits. Because lucky also does depend on your crit chance. If it rolls twice for a crit, but you don't have any chance for crit, doesn't matter if you're lucky or not. And that, the crit chance is the, the passive there for intelligence. Let's go... to the tavern, I guess. Dice, guy. What did I just get for that? Plus one lawful for buying dice, too. Sick. Uh, and then what dice? All It was all red. Okay. And there's a... Is it... Is it evil or chaotic for... Being here in this shop down here? Plus one max companion capacity. No good deed goes unpunished. The hell does that mean? We're pure lawful still, and pure good. I guess it's fine. Increased magic damage. 25% uh, equip load capacity. Beam attacks from you or your companions inflict vulnerability. This is a beam, right? This is definitely a beam. It doesn't say beam, it just says gun range. It's an offhand though, I've got my dope Aegis. Conjurer Talisman. 20% increased companion attack speed. Plus one armor, armor charm. You got plus one evil for that. Oh, so I'm still at plus four though? Illegal Snow Launcher. No. 
No, what is this? Ballista construction manual? Increased damage. Spawns up to two ballistas. I've never seen that before in my life. Revives you once from death. Consumable. Plus one intelligence. Let's sell the stuff we don't want. Oh, can I eat this? Yeah, eat the cheese. I, I, I kind of felt like it already applied to me, but it didn't. You know what? Grandmaster Shuriken, I'm sorry. You didn't make the cut. There's so much flipping money now. Can I eat that? No. Looks like maybe I have to use my one revive first. Alright. Still, we're still pure good. Can I buy more dice from you? No. Maybe we refresh. Let me see if we like, get a Santa or something with all this money. There's a Santa. Yes, I do want one, actually. Got uh, our flask. Santa gave me a bunch of blood. Uh, Santa? You don't smell like Santa. You smell like beef and cheese. Let's do the treasure rock. You don't smell like Santa, you smell like blood vials. The blood of innocent children. What is this? Happy Giant Slayer. 10% lucky hit chance. Is it gonna be any good for me? Probably not. Santa begins his descent into Krampus. Those kids were not innocent. Cursed charm are all epic. I rule over the sea. I'm Brosidon. Sorry, but Disintegrator wins everything. You disintegrated my trident. Ho, 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 don't ask where I got this kiddo. It's probably not what you asked for, but it's what you get. Ho, ho, ho. Not what you asked for, but what you get. Oh, man, he, he turned it up there second phase. Is that a brain hat? That's, what, plus five intelligence? Plus 20 intelligence. Would I get rid of evil deeds? Increase your... That's why... That's why we're good. That's why we're good. Somebody probably knew it, and I, I just wasn't paying attention. Epic accessory. 20% increased damage, depending on how good your alignment is. That's like... You know, 80% increased damage? Would I get rid of my rhythm? Maybe. Well, you have dealt exactly four different elemental damage types in the past four seconds. You gain 100% increased effects of ailments. I like the intelligence too, though. That's just going to be straight up crit chance. And I wouldn't mind getting rid of my vigilante mask. It's kind of poop. No, I mean? But if I had my vigilante mask and was getting up to 100% double damage, but I'd have to have these things equipped. I'd take that blood from a sexy pirate. I'm gonna go helmet. I'm gonna go helmet. 20 intelligence, yeah. That's a lot. Big brain. It's big brain time. It's like putting an external battery on your phone. External brain on your brain. A crit is double damage, right? Uh, I think so. What's our crit chance now? Plus 33% crit hit chance, and we're rolling twice to get it. That's that's pretty hot and happening. Thirty percent increased movement speed. Pop a balloon when taking damage. 
you have something that did something for movement speed, I think that might have been one of the things that we didn't pick. Souls are hard to say no to. But, uh... Three decks. Four decks. Lightning Conductor. On non-triggered lucky hit, trigger a chain lightning. Pocket Magic. Critical hits with melee and ranged attacks. Trigger the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. That's also a good one. Each point of intelligence for Dominus now additionally grants 2.5% increased effective buffs and 2.5% increased aura radius. Do we have any that's buffs? I think Pocket Magic here or Lightning Conductor, these would both be really good. Dominance! Do we have anything that's buffing? Rage is a buff. 2.5% increased effective buff, so we would have even faster f fire rate. Rhythm is a buff, is it? I don't know. <coughs> You can press C and F. Oh, good. Oh, good. What do we have? Rage is a stackable emotion buff that grants 4% increased stack attack speed per stack. So it would be 8%. Roughly. It's roughly would be doubled, right? So that could be good. Lord Alucard, thank you so much for the 46 months. Tiny Rock's got to be one of my favorite YouTube videos. Love the simplicity. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, what else do we have here? The rhythm is a buff that reduces the tally requirement by two. Do you think that would then reduce the tally requirement by four? I don't know if it would apply to that. I don't know how you could double that, but... Disintegration is an ailment. Let's try to remember that. Rhythm is a buff, yeah. Booze and potions also buffs. We had some in that worked with triggers. I don't remember what that was. At this point in time, because these are like trigger, right? Lightning conductor is. Who did a thing? Sasha Wolf, thank you so much for the 10 gifted YouTube memberships. Vinicius, Alexandre, Bao, Titan Yoshi, Green Z, Florbin. Bertram, Papalino, Cannon Woodill, Argo, you guys got gifted a sub. Is Aegis a buff? Aegis is no, it's just plus one block, plus one armor. Your traits are trigger. My traits are trigger. Lucky hits are always super effective. It doesn't say trigger though. On the tally of three primary attacks, your next primary attack triggers your on dash effect. We don't have any on dash effect. That's the only trigger there, I think. But this one will fire another weapon that we're holding, right? That could be huge. This one could double our buffs. Each point of intelligence, we have, yeah, a lot. Gosh, this is, they're all good. They're all really good. Uh, Non-triggered lucky hit chance, lucky hit shot. That means that it wasn't triggered from something else. I think that just means like a standard lucky shot on your... your. Nolsey with 10 more matching it. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Doling out the subs, uh, the memberships. To the YouTube side of things. Cheap shot trigger thongs as well. Cheap shot triggers thongs. <coughs> Cheap shot is a buff that grants 100% increased trigger damage. This is trigger damage. This is trigger damage. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That's a good point. So it would be double this, right? When we have cheap shot. Damn. Damn. They're all good! The more we talk about each one, the more I like each one. 
Holy moly. Chat, I think we can just close our eyes and pick one. Long says, hey, uh, anybody on the YouTube side of things, I want to see some Tim, some new Tim emotes. I'd pick dominance. I'd say one. Pick them all easy. Pocket magic is weakest of the three. Well, it depends on what weapon you get, doesn't it? You got to pull it. But I feel like when you have something like this, the damage of the lightning kind of goes away after a while. You're like, you don't really notice it as much. But dominance is always going to scale with us. That's why I would say maybe dominance. But then once again, pocket magic is also going to scale with us because we could just put a new magical weapon in there. A really cool freaking weapon that's going to be firing with us. We're going to deal so many crits because we have all this lucky shot. That's double rolling for crits. We're going to crit all the time. Oh, poof. Pocket magic requires you to have a non-channeling magic weapon in the slot one. Right. We would just find a non-channeling magic weapon. If you mouse over it, it tells you that it gets multiplied per level you are. This one. All lightning damage is elemental damage and inflicts shock. Stackable lightning ailment that makes the target take 4% more damage. Trigger damage scales with each point of experience up to 7x damage at level 6. Okay, so it does all kind of scale. You don't have a magical weapon. That's because I haven't been going for a magical weapon, but I'll go for one now. If I get it, chat, I'm just literally going to just do RNG. RNG 1 to 3. I can't make my mind up. The more we talk about each one, the better they are. Uh, let's see here. Random number. Just, yeah. One, one to three. Ready? Pocket magic is kind of ass. Well, it wants pocket magic. Uh, pretty much everyone in chat seems against number two, and that's the one that we got. No. How can you say that being able to cast a second weapon... I'm doing it. Because chat doesn't want it. I'm doing it. Now we need to get a, a, a magic weapon. Hey, look, magic weapon. No, let's go there first. It'll be good. We'll make it work. Every single crit hit is gonna fire another weapon. That sounds insane. Run is over. We don't even need any of those things. That was magical strafe dodging right there. I just believed. Contains equipment. Pawn shop to sell. Uh, go equipment, I suppose. We have a lot of these. Let's just... One bomb to, to get two more bombs. Sick, dude. Suffering from success, Tiny Rogue's Edition. If we can get to the point where we're basically 100% crit hitting, chat, we literally can fire two different weapons at the same time. And you guys are like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of lightning would be cool. We could still get them, can't we? They could still come back. The combination of all of them would be unbelievable. They would be coming back for their money. Air day. <clears throat> Lightning seems best. Everyone's got their opinions. Another black market. I don't have the vigilante mask attuned. It doesn't really matter. I don't need evil or good. Um, <sighs> increased stamina recovery seed while well, staying still. Root boots. Offhand. Plus one block charm, that could be okay. Stamina recovery speed again, that sounds amazing. Plus three strength. Here, let's let's get rid of our zombie charm like I said I was going to. And get the stamina recovery speed. Still seems slow. 
We have plus 50% increased stamina recovery speed, uh, and then plus 25% more. Still feels really slow. Percent modifiers and movement speed also apply to damage dealt by your companions. One key. One meat. Guns. Lucky chance? Nah, I, just, I don't need a new weapon. Money gun. Weapon deals 1% more attack damage per gold. Ah. Don't need it. I don't need it. Take everything. Take this too. Get this crap out of here. Who did a thing? Sasha Wolf with five more. Alright, I'll put another hat on for you guys. We're gonna keep this up. You know what? Let's do some glasses for fun. We have so many new glasses to choose from. Chat! I have another pair of glasses that you haven't seen. I'm an endless well of glasses. Are you ready to see them? It's not gonna work with this hat at all. You ready? You ready to see, see the, the most handsomest bro? It's taco time. Baby. This is for you, Sasha, Nolsey. You brought this on us. The taco time. Hell yeah. I want to go to like a, a local Mexican restaurant and then put these on and see what happens. Would I get compliments? Would I get kicked out? I don't know. Taco motherfucking Thursday? Nolsey with five more gifted subs. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. When I say subs, it's just a, a catch-all term. You know what I mean. Shrine for blessings or shop. I have a lot of money. Oh, plus decks. I'll take your decks. Three ethereal dice. Oh my god, I've never been so turned on. What's this? Life vest. No. Seven souls. I kind of want to save my souls. Range weapon or range weapon? A live chest <coughs> or not a live chest? Why are you still alive, says Rose. I'm sorry, have I offended you? How dare you be live right now? 100% chance for attacks to repeat. Wait, what? No, I didn't actually equip it. I was like, it's firing the other gun because it's the magical weapon. This is not a magical weapon. But whoa, look at that fire rate though. That's, that's some saucy fire right? I gotta actually try that. Magical weapon, please. Magical weapon, please. Magical weapon, please. Magical weapon, please! Definitely don't need a helmet. Kaka! Look at all those. Look at all those crits and all those lucky shots. Still not better than my disintegrator, but chat saying though I could get some stacks of disintegration and then switch. The goat's trying his best. I'm flipping goat. At this rate, everyone will be subbed. Yeah, pretty much. There's 150 people watching. And you guys have already gifted, like, what? 60 subs in the past five minutes combined. Uh, plus one flask. Gams Bart. 100% increase effect of booze. It goes with the Dirndl and Lederhosen. Or the Magitech boots. 20% increased attack speed and 20% increased movement speed while in mana burnout. Um... I don't know if it's considered mana burnout if you have a weapon that's just not using mana. Because it looks like it, because it's empty. But I don't think it's official. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No burnout. Burnout's red. 
Can't get mana burnout if you're not using mana. Have to drain your mana entirely. Um, do 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 do. What am I doing? Just buy something to sell it. Plus one flask, I get rid of something. But I kind of like everything I have. I said plus one compa uh, maximum companion capacity, and I forgot that you can actually activate the same one that you have another time. So we have two goats now. So I really don't need any of this crap. Take something to sell it. There's my law shop. Good thing I didn't spend my souls. Focus Sash. Plus one defy death once per room on death defy. Grant focus. Buff that grants 25% increased attack speed. Super cool, but you'd have to kill yourself all the time. Plus three dex or 20% faster tick rate of periodical. We don't have anything periodical. What's the passive of dex movement speed and attack speed? I'm thinking I'm not really noticing this 25% increased stamina recovery speed. So I'm going to go more dex. That's what I'm going to do. Boss items have been so bad. Check your weight limit. Oh, we are. We are over our max capacity for weight limit. Is that because I'm holding this? No, that doesn't even count. It's our Aegis is so heavy. Eh, well. We're still doing fine. <coughs> you need more beef. I don't know if I've seen this floor yet. my first time here. What do the goats do again? 25% increased dash length. We, we could have some better companions. Sorry, goats. Skip to your leg day. On non-triggered lucky hit, trigger a barrage of three ice shard projectiles dealing 3,000 to 4,000 damage each. Lightning Conductor is back. Shock Aura grants you an aura that inflicts shock and debuffs enemies to take lightning damage from you and your companions. Oh my god, it's the lightning. I thought you were talking about the shock aura. I was like, I think lightning is better than that. So do we want the cold... Higher damage ice shards to fall or do we want this which does a, a chain lightning which can then chain between enemies? Ice conjuration looks like it get wild with the bow Lightning ice is better <coughs> Ice for boss ice So ice is gonna be chill reduces movement speed Lightning is shock, which the makes the enemy take more damage. Ice, ice, ice. Both. Shock. Lightning. Lightning is AoE. Maybe less AoE, though, and more like... You're just saying the chain lightning is... Pseudo AoE. Ice, ice, baby. Lightning will increase your top end. Ice is good for boss, lightning good for room clear. Are the ice targeting, or is it just random? You'd think that it'd be targeting. I'm gonna try the ice. Just to spite the lightning lovers. And that's that's all of our spaces. So we're, we're done, we're done here. Oh yeah, they, they, they come out of my, my body. I thought they were going to fall from above. <coughs> so yeah, faster <coughs> fire rate might be the best. Holy crap, Chad, is that a magical weapon? Or are you just happy to see my goats? Holy moly! Happy Banjo! 
attack speed. I, I don't have the... Can't do it. Sorry to let you down. Alright. Plus three strength. Looks good. I don't know if it's just the taco, but... All the ice, all the banjo. Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> Oh, I hate to say that I was right with everything, but I'd love to say that. Health, I, I could go for another magical weapon, but it's really hard to pass up health. It's cursed, but... Um, what were you guys saying to check? I'm not over encumbered anymore. Yeah. Upgrade weapons and repair armor. We could totally upgrade this weapon. Or we could go for the buff of the chests. We are annihilating single targets. Soul heart, nice. gonna start using stuff. Just whatever. Disintegration Scepter? Magical? That's not the, the scepters are uh, beam weapons which are they don't count. I don't I, I think they're they're channeling. Shoot, I was excited about the disintegration ray with the disintegration scepter. It was like <gasps> the best combo. Greatest song in the world. Oh, dude, good dude. Guaranteed rare or one helmet. No helmets, please. <clears throat> Look, a tiny challenger. So small indeed, but let's not underestimate this ant. Yuck, I want to crush it. Any last words, intruder? Holy smokes. Pull too feeble for your own hammer's sway. I'm using a bow. May your demise hold more purpose than your pitiful existence. What? Trigger more than 10 damage effects within one second. Cherry bomb achievement. Could you speak up? Ice skates. Percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to cold damage dealt. Mm, I don't think we have that much movement speed. 15.5% increased da cold damage for getting rid of my rhythm. Hercules boots. 75 equipment load capacity. Alien mask. 50% increased trigger damage. E.g. on lucky hit trigger. Oh, we uh, disabled our Aegis with the compound bow. I didn't think about that. I think that plus 20% intelligence for higher crit is going to be better than 50% uh, increased trigger damage, but I could be wrong. Use one of those things, whatever. Why do people play Isaac and not Gungeon? I think that Isaac is a little bit more accessible. There's a lot of people that don't like Gungeon. We do this? We probably should do this. I'm gonna go with, uh... Another dodge. Really nice for the later floors. <clears throat> Gungeon also, uh, they stopped supporting it, right? Whereas Isaac has gotten so much more content. So many more updates. Balancing and whatnot. Potions. Melee. Neither. No. No. Beef. Hmm. 
How about you personally? Yeah, probably the update thing. I think there's there's more fun to be had with all the really interesting combinations of stuff, whereas Gungeon's just it's more straightforward. Here's this gun. Now you have this gun. And there's not too much to, to really switch it up. Um, what if we tried this? Just to see if it was any good. Compared to our, our thing now. Incinerator? Oh man, the incinerator with the disintegrator. Fractal glaive. While stationary periodically triggers beams. Merciless mechanical crossbow. On attack, repeats from this weapon triggers a volley of laser projectiles. Plus 75% crit hit damage. These all seem pretty cool. Fast fire rate is the only thing I really care about, which would be the incinerator, I guess. The epic weapon could be magical. I don't think any of them are magical. I haven't played Isaac, so I don't know. You should try it. It's pretty fast fire rate. Could be good. Multiple push. Oh, oh, bad dodge. Yeah, it seems pretty good. I don't I don't know what's what's better. This one does scorch too. Whereas the bow just has re repeat and lucky hit chance on it. Fire and ice, baby. Why are you just trying to give me... I, mean, I guess I could do it just to open up a chest for a magic find, but... I think this has better range. Range might be worth it. Blast bark. Explosion bow. Yeah, fire rate, rip. Epic is better than rare. What do we have here that we don't need? This double shot bow. I need a place to sell. Goats, uh, their dash length. I don't even want to look at weapons. All damage from your bow and crossbow attacks considered to be at close range. Heavy quiver. How does that work though when all your bows are two-handed? How do you equip a, an offhand that buffs your bow? Is there a one-handed bow? How, how would you hold it and shoot it? Doesn't Banjo need to be equipped? It has to be in slot one. It says, in your first inventory slot. Quivers work with bows. I guess I could take it then if I can't use my, my um, offhand. I could use the offhand though with the shotgun. Maybe that's another point for the shotgun then. And we don't have any buffs for at close range, so I'll, I'll say we go fire then. All right, fair enough. Level four max shoddy. Multiple push. Last, my last key. Wait so much stuff we're carrying. Wrath, stamina, inferno. Do I get magic find on a, uh, a mimic chest? Let's just go gold. Pretty sure it works for two-handed two. 
Really don't need anything. Go oh, charm. Arg, pain, rage, pain, revenge, roar, go away. Oh, you're just misunderstood. No more pain, no more you, you die. What? Short bow, hand bow, like tiny bow. How would you, even if it was a smaller bow, how would you hold the bow? Would you have to pull the string back with your thumb? Thunk. Think about it. 5% crit hit chance, that sounds amazing. Each point of mana additionally grants 37.5% more damage over time from effects that inflict mana draining weapons. Inflicted by mana draining weapons. Like, like the banjo? On revive grants revenant. 100% increase attack speed. I guess I'll go precision charm and get rid of maybe the friendship charm. We don't need two goats. I'm sorry. But we don't. We re don't really need 5% increased movement speed either. But maybe we'll... Drop something. We don't even need this phoenix feather. We're not gonna die. Let's... Let's be real. Intelligence growth. Anger potion. Jellyfishing net! Firmly grasping. 25 to 1,000 lightning. Plus one to maximum stacks of shock. <coughs> Jellyfish companion. Well, we didn't take the lightning, so... Does it, that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, we could have up to four jellyfish. Should've gone lightning, chat. By the zinc, I guess. I'm not gonna die, it dies instantly. Is that some intelligence? The fire rate on all this crap is crazy. If I had to pick something right now, what I would want would be some booze. No, uh, a better magic weapon. That's what I'm currently looking for. Wine. Um, 25% increased damage over time. Maybe a reason to switch back to the Disintegrator for right now? Nah. Still no. I'd choose booze, too. Alright, get rid of all the junk that we just don't need anymore. Should we go all in on the fire and get rid of the compound bow? Trigger damage? Yeah. Friendship charm. Flask charm can go. Hmm. Still good, but you know what? Let's just get rid of it. Let's make a decision here. Get rid of that, too. I've made up my mind. I need more gold. No, I really don't. Wish it was better range on this gun, but... It just shreds. Both my keys gone immediately. Bone armor, 20% increased companion damage. Sorry, goats.
Borger. It's death time. Offhand or rare stuff. We've just been getting crap on crap on cryptic crypt crap. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Ouch. Is that fire and ice? You're a cheaty hacker. Where are you at, though? Stop hiding from me. I would have killed him faster, I just I couldn't see him. Key to bomb ratio in this game could use some tweaking. <coughs> just about every run you end up with no keys but 20-something bombs. It's because you get like two to five bombs at a time and one key for a room reward. But I do use bombs more than keys, I guess. Grove Quiver. Whoops. On lucky hit with a bow or crossbow, trigger a beam of light. Dealing damage. Oops. I sold the bow. And the game knew it. Plus one luck helmet. Why can't we do hat stacking like we do here on this? Huh? 50% increased effect of booze. Jousting armor. Yep. <sighs> hmm. I'll take it anyways. Just to remember the good old days. Never used bomb as a damage source. Yeah, I, there's like things that like, say if you use a bomb as damage in a room, it's like... Pfft. Shadow planes, as you guys suggested. Suggested? Sargento? Char Cheese? Still really looking forward to... Oh, 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 that's too much. I'm looking forward to a better magical weapon, please. Dragons! A dragon slayer has to have a magical weapon, right? It's not like it's my last key or anything. Spellbook magic. This is a channeling magic weapon, isn't it? What is going on? What is this? Bombardment tome? Is tome? Is that channeling? All spell books are channeling. Sick, dude. Just love that. Ten percent damage with non crits. Well, we're almost critting a hundred percent, so nah. Intelligence is actually our highest right now. Thirty-two dex, forty-two intelligence. One little skeleton archer is left alive. Mana drain refund. Nah. I love how we're still... In the background, we're still ripping this banjo. Mm. 
Soul shop? What a magical weapon. Crit hit multiplier, yes. Absolutely. That's just like 15% more damage. Ow. That dude grabbed me. Is that normal? It said Aegis repaired. Uh, it doesn't look like you repaired. Self repairs armor on completing an encounter room. Did you? Bug? You technically now have 66% crit chance, so yeah, basically 100. Let's see here. 42% crit hit chance, but then a... What is it? What's my lucky shot chance? Lucky hit chance, 25%. So does that mean 25% chance of <coughs> rolling twice? I don't know. There's math there. Key. Damage with non-crits. I'm gonna go key again. I'm not even sorry. You have 100% luck hit with rhythm. We have... Reduces all tally requirements by two. So that means every three shots we have a guaranteed luck hit and crit hit. Alright. From the flourish. What's the difference between lucky and crit? Lucky shot rolls twice to make it a crit. So higher luck means higher crit. How about a magical weapon? Do you have a magical weapon? You do. I've been waiting for you with this magical weapon in hand. I was thinking about holding on to this other weapon until something happened and made me change my mind to grab this magical weapon. I'm Garyon, holder of magical weapons. Pretty, pretty nice armor. It just broke Garyon's hand clean off. You did not. I dashed the wrong way on accident. So hard to aim the dashes when you're playing keyboard and mouse. Your defiance is but a brief spark of light on this magical weapon in my hand. You will become a mere whisper forever lost like this magical weapon when you die. Blah blah. By the way, it's channeling. Eyes on the target. Finish him. Ah, he left. Horrible timing. Done. Make it a good magical weapon, please. These look spicy. Lucky Spirit Wand. Are wands channeling? Plus 25% lucky hit chance. S scaling intelligence. It does cold damage and inflicts haunt and shiver. Shiver is a cold damage over time status effect that deals 600% of cold infliction damage is cold damage two times per second for 10 seconds. Oh, just a status effect that spawns up to one ghost when the effect the target dies. <coughs> it depends on the wand, if it is. This is also mana draining, the Salamandra. Uh, it does fire damage and grants two Salamandragon companions that increase fire damage. Unreal Nirvana is also mana draining. It's a scepter. 25% increased attack speed. 8, 3, 5 attack speed on this thing? Dang. It doesn't really matter. It depends on the attack speed of my normal weapon, but... 
Radiant damage. 835. That might be the highest attack speed weapon I've ever seen. Isn't every mana drain weapon channeling? No. Like this banjo, for example. That's why I'm able to fire it with this. Where is it? Crit hits with melee and ranged trigger an attack of a non-channeling magic weapon. You imagine it just didn't work for anything? Can just use those wands as your main weapon. Yeah, the whole point, though, is that my shotgun will trigger the wand or the banjo or the whatever. Right? Two weapons at once is better than one. Channeling. Is it channeling? How do you know? I, if it's going to be so important for us to know what is channeling and what isn't channeling, it should just say, you know, more attack speed means more trigger, right? I mean, I've got some pretty good attack speed, but it says it is. Lucky Spirit 1. Type class 1 magic. Damage scaling blah. Attacks per second. Mana drain. Weapon range. Lucky. Primary attacks. Mana drain. Weapons. It doesn't say it's channeling. Where does it say it's channeling? Roll down and see if it's channeling. Scroll to scroll. There we go. No, it doesn't say it. It can't fit on the screen. But look at the third item. Chill is a cold ailment. That? Or are you talking about one, two, three attacks per second? Are you talking about this third item here? This weapon is considered a channeling weapon. Okay, so this is not then. Okay, good. So I'm taking it. The spirit wand. This is also a magical weapon, and it's not channeling. We can do more fire, or more ice. I'm, I'm kind of thinking the Lucky Spirit Wand. Because this one's got like a 1.42 attack per second. Which, you know, obviously it's got to do more damage then than something that fires faster. Maybe. But then it's going to fire as fast as I trigger it. So it's, it seems good. Right? Fire Dam sounds nice. Long range, too. Yeah, we do need something with higher range, and the melee is not going to have high range. It's medium. Medium? Going with it. Sorry, Banjo. You're fired. Your lucky one, is that's legendary. It's legendary. 25% lucky hit chance, too. I don't know if that applies for it being triggered, but... All right. The deepest, darkest dungeon. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for it. Blood. 27 souls. I'm just short of getting another little bonus. Sadly. It's heat-seeking, too? Oh, boy. That's nice. Shred. Shred! Explosion Tome. Crit hit chance? Yes. All the red numbers, those are crits. Green numbers, that's lucky. You notice that you might get a little green thing next to the crit. That's normal. Ask your doctor if your heart's healthy enough for this build. Attack speed. Oh, you teleported me. Excuse me. Mana drain refund, no. Let's see what this looks like on its own.
Good thing we're not using it on its own. Yeah, we're bypassing that by triggering it every single time we get a crit. But we're shooting it faster than it could be fired otherwise. Resin? Our soul shop. Resin? That does kind of sound nice. We don't have like a specific element buff. If you take off the hat, would you get dex? Why would I get dex for taking 20 intelligence off? Oh, for, for the highest... Yeah, no, I see what you mean. Sure. But I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of intelligent now. Incinerator's AAA. Where do we find the link to the game that sponsored you? I want to buy it. Please, Mr. Hutz. Exclamation point, GMB. For Go Mecha Ball. That will give you... No, sorry, you on uh, YouTube side, you can't do that. But I could do this for you. How about that? There's your link. Sorry, you're on the YouTube side. Our Conceptor. Is that a magical weapon? With happy? Magical damage grants a stack of Archon. Plus three intelligence per stack. Uh, could be fun. Channeling. Oh, you're right. It's considered a channeling weapon. They snuck that one in there. Repairs armor. Power scouter. 50 power, but breaks if you deal more than 9,000 damage in one hit. Should be it breaks if you take more. Stamina surge. That'll just be worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Put that in the old gullet. Alrighty. Can you dual wield magic weapons? 9,000 damage might kill you. Just dealing more than 9,000 damage is poopy because we're strong. And I think I just saw an 11,000 in there, so it would have been broken immediately. Dragon scale armor. Plus armor, plus suppression. I like my stam recovery speed probably. On dropping a bomb, gain swiftness. Uh. <clears throat> Good chance. Um. Oh no! You've been inflicted with imminent death. Imminent death is a stackable status effect that immediately kills you upon reaching three stacks. How do I stop it? Don't like that. I don't want your curse. You gotta kill the enemy that put it on you. Randomly teleporting you across the room. That that could be really screwy. Overcome one final obstacle before chair. No, I don't need anything. Stop talking to me. Would have broke instantly. You killed the guy, gave you imminent death. Your kind. But you are insignificant, unlike this magical weapon that I'm holding. Kidding. Let's go. You didn't hit me, I dodged that. Don't lie to me. I dropped the bomb. I used the bomb offensively. Are you happy, chat? He dead.
We did it. Great build. Take a sip of this acre. Hmm. I have more? It's like victory. Take a seat on the throne. Nah, I'm gonna give it to the goat. Oh! The goat's like... I am God. Goat. If you will. You have accomplished the impossible. You've become the embodiment of death. Well, look at my brain. Obviously, I was gonna win. New master. We new keeper of order. Woohoo! Chosen by the shadows. Yippee! We serve your highness. Mortal no longer. Now ruling the shadow planes. But even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades into eternity, much like this magical weapon that I'm holding. Becomes a god, and the game's still like, I don't know though, but you died. Lol reasons. Got him. Level 25, in too deep. And I'm trying to keep up above in my head. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.